law, I will talk about Einstein's famous equation E equals mc squared. E is energy, m is mass, and c is the speed of light that is 300,000 kilometers per second. Uh, the definition of uh, mass is how much uh, a body attracts uh, other things to it according to its uh, gravity. The second uh, definition of mass is how much a body resists acceleration. The difference uh, between uh, nuclear energy and uh, other forms of energy is uh, that uh, in other forms of uh, energy you are always uh, left with uh, byproduct uh, uh, in addition to the energy that uh, that uh, was uh, produced, uh, whereas uh, in uh, nuclear energy uh, the mass uh, disappears uh, completely and no byproduct uh, left at all. Uh, for example, when you, you use uh, gasoline to drive a car, the byproduct uh, is uh, gas that emitted from uh, the, car's, the car's exhaust. Uh, another example is uh, uh, when you burn wood to eat the house, when you burn wood in the fireplace to eat uh, the house, uh, the byproduct is uh, charred wood. Um, the three conclusions uh, that we can derive uh, from the equation is uh, the first uh, conclusion is uh, that uh, even masses at rest have energy inherent uh, to them. Uh, for example, uh, if you have a, a ball on the floor that is not moving, the ball uh, has energy inherent to it. Even if it not, if it, the ball uh, is not moving at all. Uh, the, sec uh, the second conclusion from the equation that uh, is that uh, you can convert uh, mass to pure energy. Um, as I have already said, that when you convert mass uh, to nuclear energy, there is no byproducts left at all, and uh, the mass disappears completely. So you can convert mass to pure energy. For example, if you have uh, one kilogram of mass and uh, you convert it uh, to nuclear energy, you will get uh, a tremendous uh, amount of energy. The energy that uh, you will get uh, 
uh, equals to 21 million tons of TNT. The third uh, conclusion that you can derive from the equation is that uh, you can get mass from uh, pure energy out of nothing. Thank you very much.